Welcome to our Firebird Database Administrator Training, covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman, as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. We'll continue in this tutorial session by taking a brief look at typical causes of server problems. It's very difficult to know where to start when your server starts causing problems. When users start reporting problems, it's usual to think it's going to be the database. However, this isn't necessarily the place to start. If you encounter network problems, initially try to contact the database. Use the IB Expert Communication Diagnostics to test connect to your server. Analyze any error messages returned. Alternatively, attempt a connection at TCP IP level and ping in the server. When the server can't be reached this way, it is obviously not a Firebird problem. Please refer to the IB Expert Services menu item, Communication Diagnostics, in our online documentation at www.ibexpert.com for further information. Also check the Firebird log, as this can indicate where the source lies. More about the Firebird log file in our tutorial, Firebird Administrator Training 15, Log Files and Temp Files. Approximately half the problems with failure to reach the server are due to a firewall. If you're using the default port 3050, make sure this is listed in your firewall settings. Although Firebird normally only requires one port, this is not the case if you use the Event Alerter. The Event Alerter is a mechanism with which you can trigger a message to be sent to a client when a certain event occurs. These event alerters are a powerful feature. As soon as you register any events with the Firebird server, it will open a separate port. You can specify which port in the Firebird configuration file. Otherwise, it selects a random port. Unfortunately, this area is poorly documented and there have been problems in the past with dual network cards and events. Hardware defects can happen at any time and can have disastrous effects if you can't react quickly. The best defense against such a problem is to run a database shadow on another server or external hard drive. Please refer to working with shadows in our online documentation for further information. A tutorial covering this subject is planned to follow at a later date. No free hard disk space or RAM. This is another fairly common problem. When the disk slowly fills up, Windows pushes data pages wherever it finds space, which of course slows any subsequent searching for and loading of these pages. One of the issues on Firebird server hardware is running out of disk space, often due to temp files. Many DBAs don't set their temp directory in Firebird Conf and often forget to check the temp directory when they notice they're running out of space. When the hard drive begins to become full, Windows stores data pages anywhere it can find space, which of course degrades performance when searching for and uploading the data on these pages. Please refer to our tutorial, Firebird Administrator Training 15, Log Files and Temp Files, for further information. OS Problems Windows System Restore when performance starts to degrade, it's important not just to look at queries and programming, but also at the operating system itself. On Windows, My Computer System Properties, the automatic system restore can be disabled. This also prevents Windows copying all manner of files into the Win System32 DLL cache directory. It has not been unknown to discover files of 5 GB or more in this directory. Automatic Windows Update the infamous automatic Windows update with its automatic rebooting is the cause of many Firebird server machines suddenly being shut down because no one was sitting in front of the screen to stop it. This must be disabled. And it's not just Windows, there are many other services running that may deny you server access. So, prevent any update running and rebooting your system automatically, even antivirus applications. Close everything up, leaving only those really vital ports free. Backups can be configured via FTP onto a backup server. As far as possible, use a dedicated server for your Firebird applications. So, that was our introduction to typical causes of server problems. 
A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IP Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We hope this tutorial has been of help to you and look forward to publishing our next tutorial in our series for DB Admins. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert. Mm -hmm.